YouTube and welcome to another Vacuum Mad 8 video today. Today is a very special day in the British traditions because it is Trooping the Colour and it is one of the Queen's birthdays. So today I thought we'd do the after look oh, and demo wow. of this great British made vacuum cleaner. Now this is a 1991 Got Henry got HVR 200 um, from and it ha is actually in a fairly um, less common color scheme because this is the cream and brown version now generally back in the 80s and 90s Henry's were generally the red and black that they were today um, they did start to introduce different colours I do believe back in the early 90s but the cream and brown is one that you don't see very often at all it's now well. I got this one about two years ago so this one was actually refurbished I would say two years ago so it's still looking quite sharp um, it is fairly original um, the main difference we have with it now as he has his smiley face back again which basically um, is due to a face kit um, that is the, the face kit part there um, these did used to have stickers on the top of them but it would have had a Henry and a poster and pneumatic that, it's very rough spot there yeah I know so this one is over 20 years old and it could pass to winter now no yeah, actually, it's, yeah, this one's actually 30 years old, actually. Yeah, 30 years old, this vacuum. So it's still looking good. So, you know, there is a few marks and scuffs on the thing. But, you know, it is what it is. Um, you know, 30 years old of being used. And these things also, if you've ever used a Henry, they quite often tip over when you push them through your doorways. Quite a bit, don't they? Um, that's one feature like what Dyson um, tried to change with the uh, the ball. If you really wanted to make this one look really nice, I would recommend anybody to use a high gloss um, car cockpit cleaner. Um, doesn't seem to, you can't really get high gloss anymore like what you used to. This use was actually the same colour, but to be honest with you, you know it, it's 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 looking um, it's nice and clean and it's shiny. But it's looking more natural as opposed to being like detailed look um so it is a honest looking machine so uh, on investigation to this one i do believe this suppressor um went on it and that's possibly why they sold it or it got through or whatever or for recycling so i took i took that one out and everything's been working it, blew, fine. it actually blew when we were using it one did it yeah. I think it did, yes. And he's a poor dust shot. <laughs> yeah, so this one's actually been used a fair bit, actually. Also, opening the thing up, it also had the the original red or orange safety sticker inside the machine. Um, it does also have an original brown cable and brown plug. Now, this one would have also normally come with um, a brown hose um the metal poles with brown um connectors on them brown leaves and it's got a cream head and cream tools and cream head and cream tools but sadly it come with a generic set so we've never really used the generic set set is actually still in its bag um we've got generic sets that we haven't even opened because we're not and at the end of the day you can only use one vacuum cleaner at a time can't you and use two so as long as we've got something that's similar or close to what we want to use it for. We could just put the power head down. Yeah. So this one also has a donut style um, connector. It also has the 800 watt motor and also has the power take off as well. Um, to me, I'm not being funny. But power takeoff versus the airbrush power takeoff beats every time. 
No, I'm amazed. Like, Even Henry Turbo's are great. Yeah, Henry group. Turbo beats beats a normal one any time. Henry Turbo's, and then the older ones. In fact, I do believe there was one actually on eBay. What, what's the one in the bigger tub wash? Is? Yeah, it was, and it, it was somebody was selling it, and they sold the power the powerhead separate. And it, it was over three figures just for this power head. Yeah, it's, really it's one of the commercial versions. Even, even coming off one of the machines, they're about the same age. Yeah. The donut with the sausage on the back. So somebody's obviously snagged themselves a power takeoff. The power head actually is the hardest part of get it, get it, getting. So we have got it on the bag. I have written down pneumatic power head. And we also have got pneumatic 80s. So we are actually going to be demoing this one with a power head because it's such a special machine. That's, that's an 80s car at all, also. Yeah, I know. These are just made out of bits to make it look like it should be. Um, these yeah, are... that, that should be square, kind yeah, of. Yeah, but I think that's a generic tool. Yeah, but it looks kind of like an original heavy one. Yeah. From the 80s. And there's so, the uh, 80 is a... I think it says Visselberg there. Yeah. Probably might be a Visselberg. What's Made in West Germany, look. I mean, that's probably the risk. That's definitely risk of So that one there is pre nineties because it's West Germany. Because Germany was um, it's got it. The war come down in nineteen ninety. Got it. Was one of the big events. It's got no red yeah. fibers on it. So this head actually is slightly older. But the red it, fibers are on the bag because it's ripped. Yeah, we've got a few of these bags. We've got poles as well. There is uh, older ones. Yeah. So this is just a set we're just going to do the demo with today. It's not the actual set that comes with it. Um, we've got the poles. And we have got the beast as well, look. So we've got... And it's quite dusty. A beast. special machine. And we also have got a turbo electric. Now, I, don't, I do believe they did do a brown one, didn't they? Or cream, I think. Yeah, I think they did do a cream. I think they did. Um, looking oh, at... We'll, I want to give a hands up now on the big well, ones. Well, I've never seen them. To be honest with you, if... if a cream and brown um, terrible electric head popped up. They also did ones with shorter cables for the, uh, you know, the the uh, brush, you know, type pneumatic, the uh, stick back. Oh, yeah. Did one for that also, yeah. the shorter cable. Yeah. So what we'll do now, we'll set this one up and we'll give it a good clean in here because it's Saturday. I'm just going to... It's early Saturday um, afternoon and... I haven't actually vacuumed any of them. I wouldn't really want to get my hands on now as one of the bigger ones. Um, as well, I think if we look in here quickly. I've got one filter in it. I think I have got a filter, but it's but we're just going to use this one today. Yeah, so this filter's all right, you know. It's 30 years old, man, and we got the latest bag in there. So we've got Epi Flow in it, and at the end of the day, it may not be the right filter, but at the end of the day. It should actually have a uh, type of, doesn't type filter, it should have a. Uh, Fabric, thick fabric filter in them. See, some of them have red filters in them, and then some of them have those very fine yeah. white ones in there. Yeah. Being and then some of them have two filters with them. So what we'll do, we'll set this one up. This is supposed to be like the red ones, kind of, but it's white, the filters. Yeah. So we could have put a filter in, but it's fine. I mean, um, but are we gonna get, have we got a filter out there we can use? What, one of the original ones? I think we are. We'll get this one out of something of a similar age. Um, I think it was at so similar sort of time. So we've now took this filter out just for the demo. Um, we always normally use this filter. So we've now swapped the filters around something a bit more authentic. I do now, yes. We're just going to try the power head to see if it works. So we'll switch it on then, mate. See the actual um, circuitry or something. Something's not right in there, so we, we can't do a power takeoff. Um, but we have just tested this head on another one, and we know that all the stuff works. So never mind. Well, what we'll have to do now is set up for a normal. It's a bit action. of a shame. Um, well, we're going to do another video later on with it we're running with the power head. Um, so. I mean, we've got some bits we can take out of other machines if we need to, because at the end of the day, if, if, if we've got, say, a yellow Henry or green Henry with a power takeoff that run, runs fine, I'll swap the guts around and put it into this one, because this one's a, a lot, um, what could I say, less common colour scheme. Yeah, so let's get this one going then.
Well, Kai takes that, Chad! Yeah. Uh, so this one's 30 years old. Um, you know, at the end of the day, it's still running now. I've noticed it. Put a screw on it. I'm just playing my arms pushing it forward, I can't move. I'm going to try and hold back, I'm going to try and hold back. I've got so much stuff in this thing. There, go in around here. So that motor actually is fantastic in that one and it is just a shame that that power takeoff socket isn't working. So what we're going to do, like I say, we will do, we're probably going to have to do another video with this one with the power takeoff. Um, Queen Brown Henry, let's say is like Unicorn Kyle. Um, he, he used to watch Pneumatic Rule when he was very young, when he was about, I don't know how Pneumatic Rule was, he was probably about eight or something. And he was over excited about his cream and brown and he's got a few of them now i think he's had a few of them over the years and just you know but you know we're just happy just to have one and i mean we've had it two years and like you say it's a bit of a bummer that the um the power head doesn't work on it but you know that could be other things that's going wrong with it but it works and i mean to be honest you don't use it to clean your with every day you know use it on the car and that we've used it in the car and things like that. He's also um, used dust extractors onto it and cyc you know the cycling um, sort of things that go onto these for power tools. So it's it it's been used, you know, it's not being sat there. I think and maybe then, I think I'll maybe have that cycling separator that goes into the normal. Right, thing. so we're gonna have to wrap this video up now because one of my um smoke detectors is playing up the day and it's um it's just coming to the end of its working life and I think the sensor's just gone on it now because it keeps telling me there's a fire in the house. <laughs> but there isn't a fire in the house. And, I, I, and it's only going off. And it's so smart that if you take the batteries out, because the average person will take the batteries out. It'll remember it. If you plug it back in, even though it's like two days later, it will still be doing what it's doing. So you got to let it clear itself. So, so uh, yeah, so thanks for watching. And uh, see you again on another video from Vacuum Man 8. What do you say now, mate? Bye. Bye for now.